Okay, Venus? Okay, Steve. Right. Let's go. What do you think, Professor? I'm inclined to agree with the lieutenant here. And now we know the planet Florin is virtually a jungle planet. But from the latest evidence, I'd say the plant life has disappeared. A complete and total famine? Exactly. And it is our duty to preserve life as much as possible on the planets. Yep, part of the Space Patrol code. Okay, prepare to start the countdown, Lieutenant. XL5 leaves immediately. Code 1720 Black. Check. Code 1720 Black it is. Well, that's it. We're on our way. Keep Neutroni contact open with XL5, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. I'm going to have a spot of shut eye. Things should be quiet. Lieutenant! I didn't touch a thing, sir. It just happened. Don't make excuses. If it wasn't you, who was it? I might have guessed. Why did I ever agree to have you around Space City? I don't think he meant it, sir. He never means it. But that doesn't stop him from doing it. Nearing planet Flora now, Steve. We'll soon be in orbit. Okay, Matt. I've sent Robert back to rear control. Preparing to land. Roger, Steve. I'll join you in a few minutes. Wow. The vegetation's sure been wiped out. To find out how, I'll need as many samples as we can collect, Steve. Okay, let's go. Consider yourself under close arrest, Zuni. Locking you up is the only way to keep you out of trouble. Okay, follow me. Follow me, follow me. Oh, no. Fire, 
emergency, evacuate Space City, reroute all landings, clear launching pad. All personnel report to emergency station. Report false alarm, Lieutenant. I can't, sir. The control panel's out of action. I'll get even with them. Somehow I'll get even with them. <laughs> Message from Fireball Junior, sir. They're returning to XL5 with samples. Okay, Lieutenant. Maintain course, Robert. My name goes. Get out. Well, how do you like that? Okay, you can come in now. What was that all about? I'm sorry, Steve, but I was using cellophane gas in that experiment. If it got around the spaceship, we'd all be dead in a couple of hours. There, let's put it away. Uh-huh. How did the experiments go? I discovered traces of Planetoid 3. Planetoid 3? Wow. The dreaded plant disease. That's right, Steve. A meteorite must have carried it to Florin. That accounts for the dying plant life. It means that nothing can grow there, and the inhabitants will starve to death if they haven't done so already. Now the XL-5 is carrying it to Earth. You'd better radio Space City, Steve, and tell them to have the decontamination unit standing by. This is serious. <laughs> XL-5's approaching, sir. Okay. Stand by decontamination unit. The reading is normal. Where's Zero, Lieutenant? The command is in the conference room. He wants to see you, Steve, right away. Thank you, Dr. Venus. You made the position quite clear. Well, now what? Well, I think Professor Matic has got a solution to the problem. Well, uh, I'd, um, I'd suggest that a uh, Elvium bomb be exploded in the planet Florin's atmosphere. Of course. Elvium. Hmm. The fallout would then kill the planetoid disease. That's right, Commander. But what about human life? If there's still anyone left there, how would it affect them? Oh, it's quite harmless to human beings. It's only effective on plant life. 
Okay. An LVM bomb it is. The XL5's been cleared. We can leave just as soon as the warhead's fitted. Okay, gentlemen. Then the XL5 leaves in two hours. Lift off, A-OK. -okay. Roger. Azumi, <laughs> Nana, stop that at once. For, for, for Pete's sake, quit blowing that, that tin whistle. <laughs> What's the matter, sir? Did I say something funny? Commander Zero, I suppose. Welcome home! Welcome home! No, no, no. You can't have it back, Zuni. You'll drive us all crazy with it. Now, I'll keep it safe until we get home. Now, you go and have a nice snooze, Zuni. Welcome home. Stand by, Venus. We're approaching planet Florin. Range? Bearing 530 green. Stand by, Warhead. Stand by, Warhead. Three, two, one, fire! Now! Bang on target! Really bored! Matt, Venus, prepare for exploratory landing. Zuni and Robert to remain here. Okay, let's take a look around. Welcome back, Arthur people. Welcome back. Any word from XL-5, Lieutenant? The last message said they were landing to explore it, sir. Fine, fine. <laughs> Guess they'll give us a whistle when they're coming home. <laughs> Did us proud. Best meal I've had for years. Delicious, quite delicious. And it's such a relief to find that you are friendly. Yeah, we didn't expect to find anyone here at all. We thought you were under the impression that our planet was unguarded. Yes, it must have been a nasty shock for you. A pleasant surprise, let's say, gentlemen. Well, I must say, for a planet with such a food shortage, you certainly provided a wonderful meal. Yeah. How come? When the disease struck, we laid in a stock of food, enough to last us six months. Anyway, your troubles are over. The bomb we've exploded will kill the disease, and your plant life will revive again. You and your stories of bombs that will bring back life. We know that bombs only destroy. A clever trick, Earth people. Yes. A clever trick, but we have not fallen for it. 
You have been drugged. You're crazy. No, you're crazy to think that you would get away with this. Trying to conquer our planet when we are helpless. If you think... Steve. Steve, I feel... I feel dizzy. All right, Mead. Take their ray guns. Tomorrow they will all die. <laughs> Seems we were drugged, Venus. Remember our charming friends? But where are we, Steve? Looks like a tower, Matt. We're about a hundred feet from the surface. Don't you see? The bomb we exploded will make your vegetation grow again. A good try, Earthman. But you will not escape so easily. How does it feel to be a prisoner on the planet you hope to conquer? Can't you understand? We're trying to help you. Ah, it's no use. He doesn't believe me. They, uh, they left the Neutroni radio, Steve. It won't help us any, but uh, we should report what's happened to Space City. Sure, Matt. But you'll have to relay it through Robert and Central Control. Uh, yeah. Calling XL5. Come in, Robert. Calling XL5. Come in, Robert. Steve the Whistle. Well, what about it? I put it with the salazine gas. Zuni must have knocked the cylinder over to get it. Oh, Steve. Steve, if we don't get back soon, soon he will die. He'll die. <laughs> must have become effective. And the plants here grow at a fantastic speed. Well, when it reaches the window, we'll climb down the leaves. Boy, are we in luck. But Steve, will we be in time to save Zuni? You stop whistling. Well, come on, Professor. The plant's grown enough now. You first, Venus. OK, Steve. Are you, Professor? Right, Steve. The prisoners, they have escaped. Come quickly. I can't move. Oh, oh, help me, Steve. Steve, 
Steve, it's a man-eating plague. Witchcraft. Oh, Steve. Steve, help me. I don't... I don't think I've got the strength to get out. You... You're our only hope. Steve, hold on. Whatever you do, hold on. I... I think I can just... get out. Congratulations, Earthman. Yes, uh, congratulations. Still no answer, sir. Uh, they shouldn't have been this long. Oh, I'd give anything to hear that whistle again. <laughs> well, thanks for rescuing us. Sure glad you destroyed that man-eating plant. Just as well you had my ray gun. We misjudged you uh, completely. And we are truly sorry. Come on, Steve. Any time we can be of uh, help, we are your uh, servants. Well, goodbye. 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 And find Zuni. Wait a minute, Venus. I'll turn on the air purifiers first. He must be all right. He must. Purifies are on, he'll soon recover. Nice to be home. That sure is. You know, I'm not so sure we should let Commander Zero get away with that whistle gag, Steve. Uh, don't worry, Venus. I've already seen to that. Lieutenant Ninety, take that thing away from him. But I already fed him, sir. What are you talking about, Lieutenant? Will you stop the noise? Yes, sir. I'll tell the boys. Not boys. Noise. Oh, what's the use? This is driving me crazy! I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. I'd fly you around the universe in Fireball XL5. Way out in space together, conquers of the sky. My heart would be a fireball, a fireball. Every time I gazed into your starry eyes, we'd take the path to Jupiter and maybe very soon. We'd cruise along the Milky Way and land upon the moon To a wonderland of stardust We'll zoom our way to Mars My heart would be a fireball A fireball Cause you would be my Venus of the stars 